Comme une bonne histoire pour raconter, mais nous chacun cicatrices qu'a prêté. Les nous toutes nous songeons, mon pas nous caler. C'est la vie sous mission. Moi pas quitter ou d'ailleurs. Throughout the 1990s and into this millennium. The U.S. government blocked the international financial institutions from helping the first democratically elected government in Haiti's history. With few financial resources to maintain control of an impoverished nation, President Aristide frequently spoke out against the embargo. <laughs> Pour qu'il y ait moins de chômage, plus de travail, débloquer le pays. Pour qu'il y ait élection et non coup d'État, débloquer le pays. And the embargo was the beginning, really, of the end of democratic rule in Haiti because it was designed by the United States, along with support from Canada and France, to destabilize the government. What you saw as the Bush administration came in was a tightening noose around Haiti, which really, uh, that is to say, a almost total embargo and, and virtually no, uh, not only any assistance going in, but really a, a, a fairly sharp embargo that prevented uh, the kind of support coming in that would have assisted Haiti uh, to get back on its feet. But despite the IDB's unprecedented reversal, the Haitian government was asked to service the debt on the $500 million they never received. They prevent Haiti to get that money and they oblige us to pay $5 million as interest for the money which they still kept at that time. In 2001, he laid out a very sensible, responsible economic vision that and wanted to work with the Inter-American Development Bank, the International Monetary Fund, and the World Bank. And thus, I was particularly shocked to come back to Washington to find a U.S.-imposed freeze on all of those institutions. How many people know that if you don't have that kind of aid, you have no money for the infrastructure, you have no money to clean up the water, you have no money for the police, you have no money for the fire, and while Mr. Aristide has been blamed for not doing anything about poverty, do you understand how he was strangled uh, by the lack of aid bilateral or otherwise? How many people understand that? Let me speak as a macroeconomist to say that it's even worse than that because they drained him of foreign exchange reserves as he continued to service the debts to the international institutions. The exchange rate collapsed, the inflation rose, and the economy collapsed. And that was the deliberate result of the strangulation of aid. Well, I hope we can get rid of some of the lies and misconceptions gentle, about all of this money has that has gone to the government when, in fact, it has not. The and I don't want to hear expired. that said anymore. So I just wanted to get that on the, the record. Lady's time has expired. Thank you uh, so very much. The United States wanted to prevent Haiti to go through a democratic process. They gave weapons to thugs from Santo Domingo to Haiti. They went to kill people. Every year, they spent about 55 million U.S. dollars. And last year, it went up to 70 million U.S. dollars financing thugs, convicted people, political parties. In 1825, the French sent 14 warships into the harbor of Port-au-Prince and under the threat of reoccupation and restitution of slavery, coerced Haitian President Jean-Pierre Boyer to pay France 90 million gold francs in exchange for diplomatic recognition. The debt has been a stranglehold on the Haitian economy ever since. In an attempt to remove this burden, on the bicentennial of Toussaint's death in April of 2003, in a bold and desperate speech, Aristide called upon France to return the money which his government calculated to equal over $21 billion.
il nous faut premièrement restitution, deuxièmement réparation. Parce qu'en 1825, sous le gouvernement de Boyer, nous avons dû payer 90 millions de francs or à la France. Aujourd'hui, nous réclamons au moins la valeur capitalisée pour l'année 2003, soit 21 milliards 685 millions 135 571.48 dollars US. C'est vrai que... For President Aristide, however, historical injustices cannot be so easily forgotten. I ask respectfully to friends on behalf of the Haitian government and the Haitian people to be paid because this money belongs to the people of Haiti. To press the issue with France, the Aristide government ran commercials like this one on Haitian national television, connecting an historical injustice with Haiti's current economic crisis. Dans chaque ville, dans chaque quartier, dans chaque foyer, sans Haïti. Vive Haïti, que Dieu nous médite. Merci. Somme, frême, honneur, respect. Honneur. Respect. Frem, si vous êtes capable de pencher tête ou sous cœur, vous attendez que les la battent plus vite. Vous attendez que les gens chantent une mélodie de consolation pour Haïti. Haïti, maman, nous, qui besoin de respirer oxygène, dignité, pour la honte de pas tout fil. Tant que moins content pour moi, ouais, nous, c'est tant que la souffrance nous a coulé tant que nous la rivière douleur dans tout comme. Tant que moi content ouais nous, c'est tant que la rivière douleur victime yo envie de déchirer comme pour le vin pomper dans le Si moi même qui fait arriver ce qu'on s'est ou pas besoin de dire qui j'en mange son douleur ça red pour depuis le tremblement de Goudou Goudoua, si je transformé le champ de en champ de caille, je connais qui quantité de champ de caille toute victime t'a besoin pour suspendre si dans la rue, dans la boue, en battant de chire pour les pieds, je suis prêt là, je suis là, je suis là, je suis là, oui, humiliation, yon haïtien, c'est humiliation tout haïtien. Bon Dieu connaît ça la fête, même le loup pas comprendre. Moi, tu pas crié, bon Dieu connaît ça la fête, même le loup.